Right, hello everybody. Um, looking at a replay for Flicky Flack slash Blodge Step. Um, as you can see, he's uh, he's the Chorfs here receiving versus High Elves. He uh, puts a bull under the ball. Bull under the ball. Right, let's let's pause it for a second and let's do let's have a look at the setup. Could have done more against a Blitz. Yes. A blitz down here would have been very bad. Um, so maybe this character should have been over here. Ah, I guess this was the bull. The bull was here, right? The bull was here and he got the high kick. So it's still a bit weak. I think these guys being forward would have been better. Um, so that, you know, on a blitz, this guy could have been blitzed and could have flooded the back backfield. This guy could have been blitzed and flooded the backfield. Um, so if these guys had been further up, I think he felt he would have been better better defending versus a blitz uh he's got a mix of mighty blow and guard which i quite like because guard and claw is terrible um <laughs> both block break tackle bulls which is nice a dodge show hands is nice a dirty player is f good with 13 players so yeah pretty pretty nice chorf team um the high elves only 11 men he does have an edge five wrestler which is something to watch out for Making the dodge carrier much more appealing, seeing as the block doesn't count for anything. Um, a mighty blow of his own to hit back with. A guarder of his own and some dodge, which shouldn't be so good. So this looks generally favourable. Uh, of course, Sir Gull is, uh, you know, knows how to play Blood Bowl, so that is a factor. <laughs> Going forward to hit the defenseless Garda, which seems like a good idea. As long as you uh, keep your shape and don't uh, overcommit to get the hit. I feel like moving him first before the pickup is bad because you'd rather he was there if you failed the pickup. So I feel like he should not have moved, he should have stayed here. I think. And then that guy could have stayed there, and then you would have had more movement options afterwards. You know, he could have brought it up to here. Um, or something. Yeah, this is yeah, this is a huge weak spot, yeah. This was not addressed the turn after like screen the ball off, but yeah, that's a good point here, eh, Dev. Yeah, that's a very good point. He's strength four, so he uh he maintains it quite well, but yeah, probably should have this dude, rather than fucking off over there, either the bull could have gone up there or he could have gone up there. Yeah, good shout. <laughs> Despite being 5pm in the UK, I have just got out of bed, so I may not be at my best. <laughs> but yeah, he has flooded through there. I mean, that was the danger on a blitz, and it's, it's happened even without a blitz, thanks to the field pickup. Oh god, he just runs straight through because he's at five. <laughs> Look a dog. And he bases him, so that's quite good. Um, right, so I've, it's already he's in a world of hurt, isn't he? Um, the guard here, so he's got a block with a mighty blow. Block him. I mean, doesn't he even have to do them? He can do them later. Can he? No, he's got to do them first, so then he can block him and follow. To get him freed up. Um, this guy's going to have to break tackle, blitz him, then he can block him, and this guy can come back, he can block, he can block, bring him in. So he, he can recover this. Starts with uh, a more irrelevant one, I don't like hitting with him because he's further, he has got mighty blow, but this guy's further away. I guess he gets in for the assist on there, which is still alright. Oh yeah, he's got two guards, so we could have hit him. I would have still rather hit him with... Uh, I would have rather hit him with Mighty Blow. Um, I would have been a bit greedy, I guess. Because you could have still cleared, if you've got the push, you could have still cleared him with uh, him. So my way was a bit greedier, getting the Mighty Blow hit on the guard. Um, his way was slightly safer with being able to hit the push, but I mean, it would have just changed who you blocked with the second hit. Obviously a bit unlucky we're rolling a one on the blitz there. Gets the Le Double powers, very nice. 
I don't like just moving this guy in here because obviously he's got the uh, he doesn't need the assist. So I would have uh, I would have probably you know brought this guy up here and then this guy could have gone one two three four maybe geified or something at the end instead of him dodging. Doesn't block there. I would have definitely made that block. Um, because it's only a double skull that's bad for you. We're both down. It still maintains a cage. Um, what a boring game. <laughs> it doesn't go for the ball sack. No, he does with him. He does with the mighty blow, dude. Fair enough. And re-rolls and gets it. He could, of course, follow it up in another 1D. I thought he would have gone with the wrestler, but fair enough. He goes for the slightly greedier Mighty Blow 1, and then catches it with the Edge 5. <laughs> yeah, foul the Edge 5. Yeah, that's a very good point here, Dev. Yeah, could have fouled. Uh, gone for the foul on him, because obviously the Edge 5 is the big threat. That AV break is horribly unlucky, of course. But how do you salvage this? Well, you've got to punch him with the first ball. Then if you fail to knock him over, blitz with the second ball. Uh, block him and then try to recover still. So you've still got a way to recover. But these two now, because those two were involved in knocking him over, they're way out of the action. He can come back. So you can still tag the stuff. Um, it's not lost yet. But it's obviously looking pretty rough. I think I would have... It's kind of nice to have him tagging these two, but I think I would have wanted him getting back into the mixer. Because they can just two plus away, can't they? That was a horrible scatter, wasn't it, by the way, from the wrestle. That was really horrible result. Because he's got blood step. I would have hit him with him first, see what happened. I think. Certainly an argument for not even going for the pickup and just going for the block with that guy and then go for the foul with the dirty player. Because he has got the two reserves. And yeah, if you're not going for the pickup, I think it's definitely better <laughs> to just foul the wrestle. Because he's on a 7, isn't he? And he's at 5, and he's a pain in the asshole. He's the main way that the uh, elves are winning this this drive. Indeed it is, yeah, Bear Dev. You've got to be wary of them. Oh, there's a double one. But, I mean, now it's looking pretty good for him, right? Apart from the turn times... With that, with now everyone's on the ground. He hasn't stood. Up, he hasn't done safe moves first. He's got loads of guys on the ground. Um, one, two, three, four, and then turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn eight. So he's in range with him, moving max every turn. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance? <laughs> um, he's got this guy to blitz, and then he can move forward, get everyone upfield, and you know, obviously hand off to a to a hobgoblin if he gets the like if he kind of has to. He does do that blitz, doesn't take the wrestle, which I like, not taking the wrestle. Would have followed to keep him, uh, I would have gone max forward with him. Uh, I would have, yeah, I mean this this lets him, he's still in range if he goes max every, every turn, but uh, I would have rather been caged up two squares further forward. Especially as he gets to sidestep into contact with him now. I guess he's going to foul him here. Which is pretty good, actually. I would stand. I would have stood him next to him so that he could hand off next turn, maybe. Nah, I don't think he's moving forward. Then. Nice removal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there we yeah. So there you go. Of course, he. Of course, he, it's a gym foul. But at least he made the removal. Um. But yeah, this this edge five is still a big threat, isn't he? So 
just blitzers. I, well, I guess trying to get a trish, bit of attrition in and recover to make a defence. Which is why I would have wanted to take the two squares further when I had the chance. Also, if I was Sergal, I would have moved him into there to give me the block straight away and then dodge him out at the end. But never mind. Classic AV break there. So yeah, I mean, I think I think everyone being two spares further forward would have been better. Like, I know that sounds stupid, but because <laughs> obviously it's better. But um, hello, Frost Lord. Um, but I think, you know, you, you're not necessarily going to get to move max movement every turn, are you? So I think taking it, the turn it was possible, it was good. But he can keep the eye, uh, he can keep the sure hands guy next to him. Hello, Flicky Flack. Sorry I didn't see you there. Yeah, hello, Flicky Flack. <laughs> oh, God, there's going to be GFIs. Ooh! <laughs> Here to do the GFIs. I like the end of turn 1D. There's nothing really to be lost. I, I'm not sure about the follow because he is giving him. Like it's taking someone's action up, but it is a free 2D. Um, I can put you on your ass next turn. I think maybe uh, just standing might have been better. Or just not blocking. Maybe just not blocking would have been better. Because if you just don't block, then either he's got a 2 plus away or he's got to make it, bring in an assist for a 2D. Obviously, the ball being on a guard is a bit shit because um, now he can't be guarding the carrier. <laughs> Oh, that was a very bad push from him, wasn't it? <laughs> and then the free 2D gets him a gets him a double skull. Right, so you've got to... Well, I think you've got to try and surf this guy while still moving forward. Um, but it's a little bit tricky with him, isn't it? He could, so he could... He could punch him. And then he could go 1, 2, 3, 4. Then he could punch to there. Then you could break, tackle, surf him and move forward. To get ahead. That's a bit greedy, but I kinda like doing it. Even with only one reroll left. Kinda like going for the surf here. Oh, the irrelevant block. I'd I'd I would have I would have liked him to move at the end of the turn again, because you kind of like you know, this isn't impacting the drive now. And obviously look the double ones are unlucky. Uh but He's not impacting the drive, so I'd rather not stood him up and stood him up at the end of the turn and made a GF fight to get in here, uh, where he can affect the rest of the drive, because these three are, are out of it basically, aren't they? Oh yeah, he could just block. I really hate this blitz. I don't understand this blitz because there's a there's a bull, there's a dwarf here. Oh, I'm going to switch sides. Oh, okay, then that gets him relevant. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But now you've got the hand off. And you're leaving yourself with max movements to do. I, w I would have preferred to try and punch down here. Could have got a could have got a surf. And uh, protect the ball somewhat. Could have handed off from here. Would have been better. Um, because then you've got an extra, you know, extra guy around the ball. Oh, what an unlucky. <laughs> like, it was good that he caught it, but it was an unlucky spot, isn't it? Yeah, that's fair enough. But if I, yeah, that's fair enough. So he's got a, he's got a 2D with Wrestle for the ball. <laughs> Ooh, so close to totally failing. Incredible. Oh, and a lovely scatter for him. Disgusting. And he fucks off. And now... Yeah, and there's nobody forward, is there? There's no scoring threats. So, I guess first... That's 
pause it. I think he had the blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think your only chance was double dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, maybe dodge him out first and move him upfield. Maybe move him around and then do the double dodge. I don't think there's any... No other player's going to... He can't score. Well, he's unlikely to score. Maybe face these guys up to make it less likely counter scores. And I think go for it. If you're going for the win, that is. If you want to win, I think you go for the double dodge. Um, otherwise, yeah, just like a network a network of tackle zones here to try and make it harder for him to get the uh, the tuddy. This guy ain't doing a lot. I think he'd been better here to be in front of that dude. <laughs> Double skulls. Brutal. Now he's got a lovely little uh, route down here to score, hasn't he? Potentially with two turns left. No rerolls, but he's got he's got a chance. One, two, three. I would have been tempted to dodge him out, but again, it's hard without rerolls. Ducky would have intercepted with that bull centaur. Very bad play. Not rolling the six there. <laughs> Just think, what would Ducky do? <laughs> you would have definitely rolled a six. <laughs> Alright, so you do have this guy in scoring range. There is a chance. Um, albeit not a very big one. He could have blitzed instead. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wouldn't have had a GFI. And therefore would have made the hit and then could have lobbed it. Um, or potentially. Eh, no, I don't know, that's probably it. So, yeah, not terrible. I mean, he did get turned over and scored on. But, yeah, that was definitely the weakness that. that that lone guarder with no one behind him, wasn't it? There was a weak point in the screen and he did exploit it and put you under horrible pressure for the whole half. Which could have been... Which could have been uh, alleviated right from the start. Like even the opening setup, he could have been... Could have had somebody there stopping that. Hey, so there you go. Got it a turn late, but at least you're all the six. Well done. <laughs> so, good job, 13 players. Still got 11. He's only got 10, but still. I don't hate this. I think I would probably want the rookie on the line and the mighty blow on the line so you've got guards all along um, to be able to move to where they're needed on defence. Because obviously at this point, if he scores, you're not going to win. Um, so I'd be trying to defend my hardest to not allow a touchdown. But I like the... Uh, I like this guy being here and I like using the uh, whatever they're called ooh this could be a trap blitz couldn't it I think you don't even go for the ball here just uh, just blitz somebody with mighty blow and uh, try to keep at least a bull back Don't know how many squares of movement he's got left, but I think a follow and then move to here to attack him would have been nice. This is looking a bit weak over here. Maybe the blitz over here would have been better, blitzing his catcher or something. Or blitzing the guarder. To take away his only guard guy. Oh, and then running through for the pressure. I don't hear that because at least you've got one forward and one back. Um, and obviously if you pick up the ball there, well, or catch the ball, you're pretty happy. 
Uh, of course, having the tackles on there doesn't do that much with him having edge 5. But he doesn't have dodge on him, does he? So, Oh, God, he's rolled a 1 here as well. Glorious. Yeah, I think the temptation was to go forward there. I think it probably was better to not go forward just because he's got the edge five, so, it, you know, he's not... wasn't under a lot of pressure. And then, yeah, his guard repositions to get him two Ds. Whereas if you'd nail the guard at that turn, it gets a lot harder for him, doesn't it? And he is stronger this area anyway. So now, <laughs> all of these guys have to go max across here. This guy could go here or something. Yeah. I could elf screen there pretty much with the two hobos. Yeah, I don't hate that. He's got bludge. You, your bulls don't have tackles, so hitting him with a mighty blow tackle is pretty nice. Also, he's on 15 SBPs. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. This no, no. I think I'd definitely keep try to, you know, hem them in up here. Uh, this guy could have gone up there, and that guy could have gone there, and this guy could have come back a bit. And he's in very much danger of getting surfed. Was the guard blitzable? Oh, for sure, because you had you had guard guys on the line, didn't you? Uh, unless he was just directly in the middle, in which case I would have gone for just the catcher over there and made that side weaker. Because he was stronger this side, so I would have gone for them, you know, just trying and, you know, equalise um, that point if you couldn't hit the guard, which, yeah, you may well have not been able to hit the guard, to be fair. <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, he gets to run out anyway. Like that, so he probably wanted to keep the ball back. Um, can you go through here? One, two, three, four. No, five, six. No, not really. One, two, three. Four. No. So the ball's probably gonna have to blitz him, and then. I don't know, try to do something up here. It's I mean it's tough. It's tough against against elves when they're like in a good spot. Like after they've already defended against you, it, it gets harder. Obviously if you're one nil up then uh at least if they score you're probably just gonna draw. Whereas now if they score you're probably gonna lose. And it's a lot harder to just stop them scoring at any point. Whereas if you're one nil up you'd be happy to to kind of force him to score early and then win 2-1, wouldn't you? So, bl blitzing him. I don't know, I would have, again, I would have, I would have really t gone for getting this guy down with the ball. Gets your ball back deep. And still kind of, yeah, equalise pressure everywhere else. I mean, it's really hard, though. This is pretty much the hardest thing in the game is Defending against elves who can score any time they want. Or happy scoring whenever they want. So, you know, and it's certainly a reason to play him like in Ari, and I really don't like that from him. He could have totally just blitzed from here. And then pushed him to there. Don't like that. Or he could have blitzed with... Ah, oh, that, that was from tackle, so he didn't want to blitz with him. Right, so moving that guy back is, is kind of good, really. Right, so now... 
it's it's horrible because obviously the dwarves are getting pulled pulled out of position so you want them kind of central if you can get them central don't you so probably leave this guy on there which it which isolates his guard very nicely anyway um could go for the break tackle blitz in wouldn't be terrible at this point um that wouldn't be terrible at all would it Okay, the skills aren't showing. Okay. Um, so yeah, the break tackle in here isn't isn't terrible. Um, obviously no recovery, so it's kind of not very good, but it isn't terrible. Um, one, two, three, four. He could he could stand there. Could blitz him, base him up. He could go there. He could go across four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he wants to go across four. He wants to go there. He probably wants to pull back rather than going forward because you've already got one upfield. So getting one backfield, I like. So what I would probably do is him up to here, blitz him with Mighty Blow, get him up there, move him back, swing these two across, swing these guys across, leave him out there. Yeah, see, so now he's just standing up when it could have been him giving the assist from here. Which is, a, which is a much better place to be in, I think. And then this guy could have GF, uh, could have stood up and gone, gone there or there or anywhere, really. And he, could have, he could have got an extra square of movement from him. I guess at the moment this guy could GF either there or just stand here. Which is also good. But yeah, got two bulls in the kind of same area now. Kind of same area. I think it would definitely be better to have the bull deep. But you know, that's a mistake that I've made plenty of times with uh, my plus strength beastmen. So, uh, but I, I don't like having them in the same kind of area. I would try not to do that. I would recommend trying not to do that. Even if I would do it myself sometimes. <laughs> By kind of mistake. I mean, and obviously necessity sometimes, but you know, not, not desirable. Maybe you could have put that bull there to make it a screen with the other bull. Ball sack. <laughs> Le ball sack. So now, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've got a 2D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got the 2D with him. So obviously, the first thing you should do with bulls and against bulls is count out nine squares. <laughs> That's nine squares. He can, he can nail the catcher, which is pretty good. He hasn't got much forward. So he could bracket this guy, bring him to here, base him with him. Uh, could leave one or two on him, move the other guys around to kind of cordon things off or whatever. Could move him up somewhere. And then I would go for the hit here, I think. I mean, you know, maybe you shouldn't go for the hit, but I think I would. <laughs> I think it's natural to go for the hit here. I think this guy's stuck in a bit of no man. Oh, yeah, I don't like him going forward as well. Yeah, I would have definitely want to keep him back. You want, like, something back, right? Especially, especially if you're moving him forward as well. You really want something back. He's going for the 2D. I would have hit from this square, um, after, especially after basing him, I would have hit from here. Um, and why would I have done that? <laughs> I don't know, I just would have done. 
Um, because I was still intended to push him in the right, in the same square. But, uh, might have been tempted to take the push on the, as well on the 2D. You know, just push him. Maybe he just didn't need to re-roll that. But obviously if you power him, it's nice, isn't it? Nope, he rolls a 1. And then doesn't roll a 1. But yeah, at least you keep your own guy standing there, don't you? The danger against the wrestler is that you roll the double, the, the 1 in 9, and uh, get wrestled. Like, there's no recovery after it, so it's not very good. Like, the hit on the ball wasn't that good. Like, I, I, I think I would have gone for it as well. Uh, right, so now... <laughs> <laughs> this guy has to block him, so you have to have move this guy down, and you have to block him. I think. Probably want to get a bull back. Um. You know, whatever happens. Okay, hitting him with mighty blow. Because if you pushed him, you could have um, you could have pushed him to here, then he could have gone one, two, three, four to assist this. The bull can probably run back. I would definitely want the bull back at this point. Because with the, see, this is the problem with dwarves. Big dwarves and chorves. You want the kind of ball in front of you because now these three guys, four guys, are a bit fucked, aren't they? Because <laughs> the, the ball's gone past them. And now they're really going to struggle to stay relevant. Like Even though this one's movement nine. And now both bulls are on the wrong side of the ball. Um... And these guys that moved up last turn are in real danger of getting behind. So I would have definitely moved this guy who blitz would have moved back to block him. And then this guy would have done the blitz or the bull would have done the blitz. And then this guy could have then moved around. Maybe. Oh, GFI. And this guy's probably not going to do a whole lot now. Yeah, the GFI was necessary. Double GFI was necessary, whereas it could have, you know, it did get you a mighty blow hit doing it that way. But I think getting the guy back was more important than getting a mighty blow hit. And then now this guy would have been, maybe he's knocked over and then not assisting that block. And not making the screen and everything. So... Oh, <laughs> it's great sound effect, isn't it? So yeah, that, I think that's the thing. Is really is when you're trying to stop them scoring, you've got to stay in, stay in front of the ball as much as you can. Um, this is a, a dodge to get a two D. One, two, three, four. Could GFI? Oh, no, he's got guard anyway, so it doesn't matter. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then hit blood stepper <laughs> without tackle. Yeah, it's just not very good, is it? Because he can sidestep to wherever he wants. You've got no recovery. You've got to scramble back with dickheads first. It's like pretty lost, even if you power him here, which you do. Luckily, get the power on the first hit. And you can sidestep to keep the ball in play. I mean, not that he could have hit him on the sideline, but you know what I mean. Oh, there's the double one. Oh, God! Oh, don't do that with balls. Hello, Tony, don't do that. <laughs> if you roll a double one, make sure you don't die afterwards. <laughs> but again, that was kind of the problem of having these guys who are now behind the ball, isn't it? And now everyone's behind the ball, and you're scrambling to get back with little stumpy legs. One, two, three, four. He could have just gone back. Maybe tried one GFI or something first. Yeah, the dwarf would have had to make a GFI, but he could have gone back first. But again, if you'd moved other people back first, if that guy hadn't gone as forward, everyone would be further back, making less GFIs, getting in better spots. So it's um, so it's it's one of those things where it's kind of incremental, isn't it? Where now you're paying for the previous turns of kind of over committing a bit. As much as yeah, don't roll that. You you know you really don't want to roll one one six 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 six. Yeah, you don't you don't want to roll that. But as much as those dice rolls were obviously bad, 
<laughs> on one six 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 six. As much as those dice rolls are bad, um, there would have been ways to have been in not such a bad situation before then. But it, you know, again, it's really hard. It is really hard with movement four dudes. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Yeah, generally when. Generally you should have one in each half, I think. Either one in each half, of, either one in each side of the pitch, or one in each half of the pitch. You know, like kind of mirrored. Mirror that positioning kind of thing. So if you've got, if you've got one bull here, have the other bull here, or, you know, one bull here, then one bull here, and stuff like that. So, and then getting them both up there was, uh, yeah, like little push to base was fine. Um... It was, you know, but it wasn't. It was, um... It was unlikely it'd be relevant, but it was a nice little push there to base, yeah. <laughs> it was certainly the right thing to do, and better than not doing it. But yeah, I mean, that that is, that is pretty much the hardest thing in Blood Bowl, defending and they'll score when they're happy to score any turn. And then he got the he got the full stall out anyway, the horrible cheating bastard. Not in this game, but historically. <laughs> Push your balls up. What you do in your private time is your business alone, Wayne Fair. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's fair enough. It, I mean, it was the right thing to do, for sure. For sure it was the right thing to do on that turn, but uh, the damage had been done in the previous turns, wasn't it? Like, the Blitz was a bit of a, a trap because it encouraged you to get the balls forward and everything like that. Um, so, but you know, it's tricky. I mean, it's how I lost in CCL playoffs on Xbox, wasn't it, against the Dark Elves was... It's just really hard when you've got to defend a whole half against them. Like, uh, you know, when, they're, when they're happy to score any, any turn, it's really horrible. <laughs> Ten blocks. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, you know, I think the big thing, the biggest thing in the first half was leaving that gap that obviously was good enough to exploit. And then, which, which you know, after that, didn't really do anything horrific, but it was always playing off the back foot, wasn't it, after that? Um, could have set up better against it, I think. And, like, could have set up better for the receiving the ball and could have obviously not left that hole at all. Um, and then, second half, it was, you know, it's a really tough ask to defend properly, but, yeah, maybe he's, should have kept the balls further apart. Maybe shouldn't have pressured the ball because that's the thing, the elf have the ability to just outrun you if you pressure the ball too hard. So it's a it's really tough balance to strike, to be fair. So hopefully that was useful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.